generic greetings and welcome back to airport ceo once again in the previous episode we've got some planes as you can see our airport is pretty much up and running we've got three generic aircraft stands one two three and two commercial aircraft one and two this is maple air currently there which is um just deboarding complete and then boarding will be progress uh, shortly so everything's sort of up and running and working-ish for the time being. It's uh, a little bit iffy at times. We had a problem with the janitors, although a quick reload and making sure that this section here was set to staff, uh, because originally I don't think it was, that's resolved the issue, so then I can, can go through this way. I think it was just that, so hopefully that's now resolved. I've also had a bit of a mess around there. Um, so in general, we are doing okay. Obviously, we've now got a jet fuel system as well, so we can fuel up our... Um, our planes. I'm pretty sure these are glitched on 90%. I don't think I've seen them gone down below that, so maybe that's a bug. Obviously, Alpha Game is Alpha and all that. But for the time being, we are sort of doing okay. We do need to get some, maybe more stands, or what I might want to do is go ahead and turn this into commercial and turn off the general aviation, just because, quite frankly, I think we can make more money that way, and I think that's the way forward. So let's just go over to our flight plan, and we can see it's pretty much all sorted. Now, it would be nice to reschedule these for the for this one here, but it's uh, it's pretty much not going to happen. So let's just change that to stand three. We'll go over to our contracts. Um, where is it? Economy, contracts. And we ain't got no other contracts in there. Dandy. I guess it's to do with... Um, let me just reject that, reject that, reject all these fuels, we don't want them. Um, I'm guessing it's to do with, we need to com technically complete the contract, or is it, it does not, it has an expiry time, doesn't it? Hmm, I don't know. What I'll do for the time being then, I will just, uh, change that to, back to general aviation and see what happens with the contract. So... Overall, doing quite well, not glitched out anymore. Uh, we do still need to have an area where it's better for pickup. As you can see, there's good pickup for buses and stuff like that, but um, turning round is a little bit of an issue. I think they're... Oh, no, they do a UE on there. That's okay. Um, I know I could have gone down and along and connected up, but it uh, doesn't look like we need to. Obviously, this is all pretty much okay. It does take a little time to take off. There's a little bit of a delay there, but nothing major. So overall, doing quite well. This episode, we need to get the toilet put in here because there's a lot of people complaining about that. And I think it's time that we go and probably get probably get some shops and food. We do not have a procurement director, though. Okay, let's sort that out. So over to the board. Uh, procurement director is on. Hang on. Was it a strategy director? I must have misread that. One moment. Strategy director. Yes, sorry. It's a strategy director. Okay, so staff opens a st strategy director. Change this to strategy director and then hire someone who, quite frankly, I don't really care about. Um, because, well, I don't think these stats do anything when it comes to the directors. At least, it's nothing's ever stated. So, you know, it could just be the tutorial doesn't tell me or it doesn't actually do anything because, you know, I'll have a game. But uh, we'll see. So, a double flights there, as you can see. Everyone's boarding and taking off, and that's fine. Hovering at around the uh, 300,000... Um, sorry, no, 800,000 uh, generic units of currency. But I need to make sure that we don't really go under about half a million. If we do, then that could be a bit of an issue, because it means we are really heading down, down, and uh, towards that sort of bankruptcy area, which is something we definitely don't want. Anyway... Over to the... Well, where do you want to put the toilets? Probably put the toilets closer to the exits rather than the entrances. Um, obviously, these toilets are massive. The better way to do things would probably be to expand this down and have that as secure. And quite honestly... I think that's what I'm going to do. Expand that down and have this all as secure means you have to go past the staff room, but it also means I don't have to rebuild half the half the area. And I want this as shops and such, so yeah, we're going to do it. We'll do that. So this will go down to the end like that, and then we'll have all of this as secure. Like that, and then we'll connect it up there. 
which we can't do because there's a wall there. But once this wall is done, we'll be sorted. Um, for this bit here, this is the uh, small security checkpoint. It doesn't do baggage scanners, but it's only set up for employees only. That's all it does. Um, as you can see, what they've done is wall themselves in because they are that smart. <laughs> but uh, we'll sort that out very quickly. I mean, I know there's the odd glitch here and there, but quite honestly, it is very, very functional. Very functional indeed. It just does seem to work for the most part. With obviously them, the, the odd quirk here and there. But it seems to be working okay. Which I'm very happy about. Um, okay, so we need to check... Uh, how is that progressing on that? Let's unlock the shop upgrade. We're going to go for our food franchise. And go over to the contracts. And we, yes, we now have some more contracts. So, we've got Stripe Air. That's completed now. So we're going to accept that. We'll sign that one. And we'll also sign uh, the Maple. Because obviously our other contracts ended. So that's fine. And then there's no other ones. So we'll just go over to... Well, pause it. Go over to a flight planner. And you can see today... We've got a lot of space, so we can have Maple land in... Ah, we can't put it there because you have to plan your flights at least... They have to be allocated at least an hour in advance, but hang on. We are three hours in advance. It's there. Glitchy. Hang on. What's going on? Oh, of course. We're looking at Saturday. No, hang on. Oh, yes. Sunday. Right, we're fine. Doggy, my fault. My bad. Um... I'm just wondering why that's green, then. Does it mean flight... It just says flight active. I assume we've completed it. Don't really know. Either way, confirm that in there and confirm that in there. So what I'm going to do is turn this one onto commercial, ch turn off uh, generic aviation, and that will mean that we can now start putting some more flights on this stand. So over to Sunday, and then we'll start putting them in. So I'm going to leave, like I say, a little bit of a gap between these. There's no reason why I can't, because you always, you've always got a bit at the end where you can't... Uh, if you put it back to back, you're not going to get that in there anyway. So that's about right. One, two, three, four, five. That's okay. There's a lot of micromanagement that we could go ahead and do. Um, obviously, if we go over to things like operations, uh, we can change things like... Oh, we haven't even turned on jet refueling service. I should probably turn that on, shouldn't I? Um, we also haven't got ramp agents. Ramp, ramp agent service. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to fast forward to next day, actually, because um, there's no reason in waiting here. Uh, yeah, we've got things like, where is it, in, it's around here somewhere, I don't entirely sure where it is, there's a bit to do with, ah uh, yeah, shifts and things like that and altering this, and also how much you charge the airline for landing, so, we need to uh, make sure that well, we might go ahead and alter that later on. Um, we've got now new emails, which I haven't read. I've got several emails about franchises and food and things like that. So that's all up and running now. So we can probably get some food stores and other things around here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I think what we'll have is... Do we want a separate store? Actually, I don't like the idea of a separate area. Um, because I don't think there's any need for it. Like, you've got food and you've got shop, but the thing is, the lot, the, a lot of the times they're very open, so you'll just have, like, a, this section here, and all, all the front of the store will be open. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll have a wall that maybe is just increased a little bit to there, and then, I don't really know how big we want to make this, but um, if we have the same over to that side to there, so that's a wall put in, and then we can, we can sort of section it off. Um... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have to actually move it along a bit. Is that four full boxes? Yeah, so it's... And would it be that? Um, doesn't tell me. Don't know, that doesn't seem right. No. No. They're all kinds of wrong. Let's just cancel those. Let's just make it easy. Put that in there. And then we'll say eyeball it roughly in the middle. There you go. One's gonna be a one's gonna be a store for um one's gonna be a shop, one's gonna be food. I think we'll have shop here. 
and food here. Mainly because the food is closer to that. The toilets. Makes sense, right? I think it does. So there you go. So there's all the shopping stuff put in. Uh, we do need to obviously furnish these. Um, just check and make sure that's all sorted. Yep, actually you can see now that's getting fueled up. These are now getting fueled up. This is good. And I assume we're charging for jet fuel. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. So, these are put in. Uh, so, items go down to... What is this? This is the shop zero. What's this here? Employee can't reach destination. They can. They are de they're definitely reaching the destination. Oh, that was yesterday. I don't know. Right, so. We'll have our... I think... Shop first, which is cashier, and we'll put a cashier, um, double cashiers at the end there. And then we've got large shelves, in like so, medium, and then the small, and then there you go, that's your shelving. Uh, this side, cafe, is very similar, like that. And then you've also got fridge display, which, quite frankly, we're just going to go all the way along the bottom like that with. And I don't know what to put in here. Um, you've got small plants, you've got potted plants, you've got sofas and armchairs. I Is anyone allowed to use that? allows one person to rest comfortably and looks very nice. So yes, you can actually... I could put gate seating in, or I could put sofas. Gate seating's more efficient, really. You know, ideally, it's gate seating, to be honest. But, uh... Don't know, sofas will be quite nice as well. What I'm going to do... I'm going to put in a sofa there. And I want to see if people use it. That's all. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. Uh, once these are in, we then obviously need to furnish. Uh, sorry, we need to we need to get some contracts on there, but we'll do that once it's all uh, full up. Um, so it says here minus ten thousand per hour, um, but we are over eight hundred thousand, so that's good. Like I say, we're, we're trying to hover around that area and ideally go further up. <laughs> we're trying to make money, um, or at least stay around that break-even point. But um, we've got people in here now. We probably need some more airport staff. So let me just check on that. So we'll go to staff. We'll go to staff over here. We need to change that to airport staff. Unpause it because it doesn't seem to work when it's paused. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that just says work. Activity work. Stand still. Wander. Ah, okay. So some people are just wandering. So that's fine. It means they can um, go around here. So we'll say sign a contract. This is... The different types of uh, shops you can have. So you've got traveller shop, quick stop, and it sh shows you like how long the contract's for and things like that. And they all have a requirement. So power, for example, requires a size of uh, 248 meters squared by 194 meters squared minimum. Uh, required shelving 14. We've only got 10 and a cashier desk, so we we can't do that. But some of these other ones we could probably go for. And the stars are, I think, are just like general ratings. Uh, it also shows you the airport cut. So that airport cut is 2%. That is a nice 14% but we can't have that one. That is 7%. That is 18% but we don't have the required shelves. That's interesting though because 9, 10. That's 10 shelves. But this is dodgy then. So should I just get rid of a big shelf? Is that is that the way forward? Get rid of those two and just put some smaller shelves in and then technically we can get that. Because if that's the case, then <laughs> um, it's not broke. It's just not thought out very well. Let's see if we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're technically getting a lot more shelving in there. Um, as you can see, we're, hang we're having a bit of problem already with the whole takeoff and landing thing because we are starting to get <laughs> a little bit of a backlog here. It's not a big problem. It's just, we really are at capacity when it comes to this runway. We should stagger the flights. What we'll do is we'll stag we'll probably start staggering the flights from the next day or so onwards. Uh, so let's just check this one. So sign a contract and this one is 14 of 18. So 246, 8, 10, 12, 
13, 14, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to have these big shelves as far as I can see. Unless some of them require you to have big shelving units. Well, sorry, if I'm getting a bigger cut, then I'm obviously going to alter this, aren't I? There's no, there's no reason for me not to. There really is no reason for me not to. To get more money on that one. So I just have small shelvings. And just do that. And then that gives us the better, the better ones, you see. Obviously, the size is important. We can't uh, do much there. By the way, I know people have mentioned about the flooring. It's all just grey. They want me to uh, go back and tile over the flooring. Yes, I will do. No problem. No problem at all. Once we've got all the operations pretty much sorted, which, to be honest, we're getting there anyway, I think we'll go ahead and do the flooring. Sign a contract. Um, that is 18 of 18, and that's a 70% cut. I think we're going to go with you. So we'll have that one. Sign that contract. That's now fulfilled, and that should get sorted. This one here, sign a contract. Uh, we've got different kitchens. Uh, that's a 12% cut. That one's a 11% cut. Uh, looks like we're going with... Ooh, Valentino. Yes, sign the contract. There you go. So there's the food and the uh, the shop. And as you can see, what's happening is people are coming along, and they're buying different things, and we're getting a cut of that. That's all fine. This is a similar thing's going to happen here. Uh, are, these, are those backwards? Those might be backwards, you know. I don't know whether the drink should be at the back and the cake at the front. They are, they do seem to be functioning, and people are buying stuff and sitting down on the couches. That's what I wanted to check. I wanted to make sure that the the uh, the armchairs were not just gonna, or the the couches were not just gonna be a waste. So what I'm gonna do is have uh, just alternating sofas and um, the armchairs you see there you go and obviously trash cans are very important on this one because there will be a lot of people just leaving stuff all the way around the place so it looks like we've got 863 generic units of currency uh, so we've gone up nearly 100,000 already. This is good. Going to pause the game there and then go to Monday because we now have um, three stands to deal with. I'm just going to double check over in the contracts. We should have another one now in our contracts here. Yes, we do have more fuel and also the CLM airline, which we're now going to accept a rate as well, which obviously we then need to sort out. So over to Sunday. Uh, sorry, Monday, and we've got CLM flights, so I'm going to have one in there, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger the flights like so, so they're not going to be landing and taking off at the exact same time. Uh, we're not going to stagger it too much, it's just going to be like that, you see. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason for me to do these guys first, other than um, it's alphabetical, and also uh, if I get these flights over with, it means I can just go back and then do the other ones. Uh, that's the reason, I guess. So we're going to stagger these flights. Uh, obviously, this one will be taking off just as this is landing, or but that you have to you have to account for the taxiing as well. But this is just a trial and error thing. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then the worst that can happen surely is um, they'll be sitting around doing not much else on the uh, on the tarmac here. So do you know what? I'm not really too bothered if it uh, doesn't if it's not the most overly efficient way of doing things. Uh, so these guys here, we're just going to check here. You can see. Um, Service round not requested, uh, unloading not requested, maintenance not requested, cleaning and catering not requested, but we will need to get on that at some point. Um, and we'll have to go for, well, what's our staff? Do we have any service technicians? We don't. Can we get service technicians? We can get service technicians. And I'm guessing, do we need... We'll need to turn it on. Catering service, no. Uh, cleaning and handling system. What's ramp agent? I don't know what that is. Um, will we have to get... Anti-spam filter. We've got a trail scanner. Track and review real-time where targeted persons has been. That's going to be useful. Oh, but we need a CIO. Travel documents. Allows operators to review passengers' travel documents real-time. Use advanced induction technology. Scans... Passport and boarding cards. So we see more information. Mind reader. That's interesting. Um, there's nothing in here that says about maintenance and such. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to hire a couple of service technicians. Anna, you're pretty good on the logic front. And Dimitris, you're pretty good as well. So I'll hire both of those and we'll see if... Uh, Maintenance is requested. 
because I don't know if it will be or not. I'm going to turn on... You need at least two ramp agents to service a single flight. Mm, not really too sure about that. Uh, we've got different stuff in the inbox here. Golden opportunity per quick. Oh, this is all the spam ones I just have never read. Um, about This is about... Oh, these are just tutorial ones. Don't need any of those. Yeah. Is that it? I think so. Why not? More franchise tutorials. Received from food franchise. And they're welcome to our airport, which we still haven't read properly. Because we don't need to. I'll get rid of it. We're doing it okay. We don't need to know their opinion. Right, and... Oh, that is definitely the wrong way around. Yep, that is definitely the wrong way around. Those are the right way around. Those, not so. So what we'll do is we will bulldoze rate those. And, um... We'll probably spin them around. Uh, shop counter, no. It is a cafe counter. Which is there and there. Yeah, because the line... You can see where the counter is, but then on the left-hand side there's a line. That's where... I thought that's where pe staff stand. It's not where people go. Yeah, I'm, the more I look at these, the more I'm pretty sure that these are the wrong way around. But quite honestly... I'm not really too bothered. We have earned in one day 100,000 by the look of it, which is a nice amount of cash. We have our flights pretty much sorted, or Sunday sorted. Monday is all done. We really just need to keep going. So what I'm going to do, I think um, I think we'll go ahead and spend some of our newly gained cash to uh, put some flooring in. So we've got all different types of floor. Uh, we've got some nice, uh, what's that? What's that? Some tiled floor? Wooden floor. What we'll do, white tiles. These tiles here, these will be the bathroom. Like that. And it's instantly placed by the look of it as well. Um, so, flooring. Should we see what that one looks like? Well, that's quite nice. Uh, it's a bit gory, actually. <laughs> I changed my mind. It's a bit, it's a bit full on, isn't it? It is a bit full on, actually. We're all blue, like oh, like a grey maybe. Oh, that's better. That's much better. There you go. Oh yeah, I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. Um, and what I want to do, I want to differentiate the security zones or the zones that are secure, uh, and the transition points as well. So, the transition points. Is that like a wood grain? I think it is. I think we'll keep these bits here. We'll keep these as the standard grey. The transition points will change to a darker blue. Yeah, so it's light blue, dark blue, then the grey. Yeah, I, I can handle that. I can see some decent things there. Uh, in terms of the flooring in... The shops and such, I think the fancy tiles is the way to go. Yes, definitely the way to go. And then in here, we can go for a bit of the old pine, I think. A bit of wood grain. Oh, look at that. LG, I would be proud. Right, I think we are going to leave it there. Not a bad episode at all, I don't think. We've got pretty much the airport up and running to our satisfaction. Um, everything else now is really just expansion. I think we are probably best opening up another security checkpoint, so I will activate that. We might have to hire some more staff. I'll check later on. But we've got all these put in. We've got this sorted. Got a bit of a white space area here, but that's where we will have baggage dropped off, which is something we do want to do, but that'll be a future us thing. Um, I think the next couple of episodes, really, we want to get another... Probably another... Um, another airstrip in actually maybe another runway probably and expand the terminal to the right hand side and maybe get bigger aircraft we'll see how it goes let me know in the comments where you think we should go and that's what we'll do I guess as always hope you have enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings